What's up guys? Mike from Tots and a Mike here with another review. And now this is episode four of The Ones Who Live from The Walking Dead. Now, still loving this show. This show is amazing. Uh, this one, as you can tell at the end of part three, Rick and Michonne jump out of a plane. Uh, they end up in this fancy apartment building, like with a lot of electronics and everything too. The helicopter crash, so at the end, technically, Michonne saved her life. But you know the CRM is going to come after them. Rick wants to go back to the CRM. Why? Because he's scared that if he doesn't go back, they'll kill him and they'll kill everybody in Alexandria. Michonne tells him that he's got a son he didn't know about, RJ, and uh, that, you know, they want, he want, she wants to go back to the kids. So they have a little argument. Uh, it's a really good episode. At the end of it all, Rick decides after the CRM destroys one building and causes a little bit of an earthquake causing problems to the buildings, He's going to go with Michonne. He doesn't want to lose her. So, and then they find out there's, um, there's walkers everywhere. And they try to fight them off. And it, it's a really emotional. At the end of it all, they're gone. But there's two episodes left. So we don't know what happens. So this was a really, like I said, it wasn't an action-packed episode. It was more of an emotional episode to, uh, you know, it was really, really emotional. Really good. To, like, like Oscar caliber, pretty much performance from them. Uh... There's two scenes I would choose in here. Uh, I would choose the... Uh, if I had to pick two scenes that I like in this. It'd be the uh, one with when Michonne is arguing with Rick when Rick doesn't want to go back. So, check that out. I'm the one to tell them that I found their father and he sent me away and chose not to come home to them. Children. You said children. His name is Rick. We call him RJ. You have no idea who we're dealing with. You, you need to get it to me. We see our kids believing you were alive, and you were. You, you think I didn't want to, want to be with you? I tried, I tried everything. And there you go. So like I said, that's really deep argument between the two of them. He's scared to go back. And then the other one I like is just, this is a joke one. It's when they're arguing, it's like, oh, you're left, yeah, I'm like, you know, I know a commando, and he, she calls Rick commando, it's kind of funny, so check this out. I mean, if I had a place to hunker down till the numbers thin out. If we do that, we get trapped. We can't breach from this high up, even if it's a defensible position. I don't even have a weapon, commando, so how are we supposed to get past all those walkers? Goddamn defensible position. Commando, really? He's like commando, so pretty, pretty good. Uh, two episodes left in the season, which kind of sucks. I was hoping to uh get more of this, but curious to know the preview has a new character showing up. Don't know who he is, I don't know if he's part of the original Walking Dead or what, but we'll find out. And uh, still keeping this at a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The series hasn't gone down, which I'm really happy for. Uh, so far, the only thing I don't like is that they should have had more. They really should have had more episodes, but you know, that's how life is now. It's always between six or ten episodes, so or eight. But uh, yeah, still recommend you guys checking the series out uh, and also the Daryl one. But this one's really good, and this episode coming out soon this week. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing that. Only two left. It's kind of hard, but I got more series I'm watching now. So, what do you guys think of the uh, of the show so far? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Uh, I like the, how they introduced the Roomba, and uh, I also like at the end how they used the hybrid car, which kind of interesting too, because you never saw the hybrid car, I think, in The Walking Dead. And this one here, you realize it's a you know, hybrid, and it's got the gas in the back, and it got it's electric, so pretty cool. So, like always, if you've got a TV series that you want reviewed, you want me to check it out and uh, you know just see what I think about it. Send me that email, follow me on social media, send me the link, send me where I can get it, where I can watch it, and I'll get it happening. Also, if you're not following me on YouTube, you're missing out on a lot of stuff. It is right over here. And subscribe, click the notification buttons for anything new that comes out. Uh, as you guys know, I still open Pokemon stuff. I've got some new stuff coming out, i.e. Temporal Forces. So. That's uh, going to be fun to look at and fun to open. So, 
and my little my own fan films are coming out too so you won't want to miss that and like always if it weren't for you guys i wouldn't be doing this so thanks for watching i'm Tata the mic take care <laughs>